Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I'm here at Trinity Church here in New York City. Trinity Church Yard is the oldest churchyard here. Of course, Trinity Church was the oldest church here, and of course we're on the third Trinity Church here. For those of you who might be familiar with the term Trinity Church, or know of Trinity Church, uh, in motion pictures it does have its moments. In the movie National Treasure, this was the ending, and underneath here there was a wide labyrinth of, uh, of vaults underneath, in which everything from the scrolls from the Library of Alexandria to just about anything else you can think of was kept. Well, I'm sorry to say there are some vaults under here, but they're very shallow. They're family vaults in which people are buried. It's interesting to note that as you go through this old churchyard and you hear the hustle and bustle of New York City, it's always interesting, you know, it's really quite busy here and really quite noisy as well. There's uh, some interesting things here. They have redone the churchyard and they have put information to help you understand uh, some of the aspects of the churchyard so you understand it better. There's uh, a lot of really early graves here going back to the beginning of the 18th century. I want to take you for a little walk here if I may. Now you know something, there's a lot of uh, signers of the decoration here, there's Revolutionary War soldiers. We also have some over uh, up the street in St. Paul's Church, which is very famous after 9-11. One of the things I've always found interesting about this churchyard as well, that people don't realize this churchyard ended basically at the end of Manhattan Island where the buildings are across the street is where the Hudson River once was of course this is all changed now now there are some very notable graves here I'd like to point out to you and one which isn't really a grave but just a marker to let you know about them one I'd like to point out to you is right up here. It's uh, Robert Fulton. Now, of course, Robert Fulton, he isn't the inventor of the steamboat, but he was a far better promo promoter uh, than Fitch, who did the first steamboat. Uh, he's not buried here, but he's entombed in the Livingston Vault in the far end of the cemetery. This is the location of Hamilton's grave. Alexander Hamilton, the first Secretary of the Treasury. Also, his long-suffering wife, Eliza, is there. She outlived him by 50 years. He was buried here. He lied about his age, by the way. He actually was 49 years old, although it says 47. But he was killed in a duel with, Alex with uh, Aaron Burr. Um, when he was buried, the family had no money whatsoever to bury him, and the payment for the tomb was done by the church. It even says so right on the tomb itself. Also buried here is Alexander Hamilton's son, who was killed in a duel two years before him. It's pretty interesting walking through here because it's of another age here surrounded by the hustle and bustle of the modern age you know Alexander Hamilton is the creator of our money system and of course he has been here since 1804 and he has had the opportunity in a sense if you think symbolically to watch the results of the development of his money system. Pretty interesting. Lots of people come by to spend time looking at Hamilton. There's even people who put coins on his tomb. There's even an organization called the Federalist Society. They get together, they all bring silver dollars, and they put them on Hamilton's tomb and talk. You have another fellow here by the name of John Watts. He was a congressman, he was a jurist, 
He was a controller. His grandson built the statue. He thought it was really good. He liked his grandfather. And so it's really interesting here as you walk around, you see all kinds of stuff. And actually, if you do get the chance to come here, when you walk in, you will see this tomb right here of Captain Lawrence from the War of 1812. Don't give up the ship. Well, he was buried here after the War of 1812. There's lots of other people here. You can spend hours looking at the various tombstones that go back to the beginning of the 18th century. So I thought I'd give this little talk and little walk through here to share a little history of New York City. You know, I'm always around here. I'm always doing talks or doing tours in New York City. So it's kind of nice to take you on a little visual tour here to let you see some of the stuff here. The church that exists today is the Third Trinity Church. Um, it was completed in 1846 and uh, made of brownstone, which kind of started a big craze here in New York City because everybody was wild to have brownstone. Of course, brownstone is cheap stone from New Jersey, but that's another story altogether. So if you do get a chance, come visit here. It's kind of cool. But uh, hopefully I can come here again and show you some other areas here around Trinity Church, which is truly a magnificent and interesting facility and a very important part of the history of New York City.